Today on Ron Eats, we're going to be featuring a local candy uh, maker. Um, I have their card and information here. It's Tully's Sweet Treats. I did uh, black out her phone contact number because that might change depending. She's in the process of creating websites and she has a Facebook page, Instagram page. I'm pretty sure she has an Instagram page. If she doesn't, she might eventually. Um, but she definitely has a uh, email, contact information, and uh, a website in the works. Here is her card. Let's see if I can get that not to blur. There we go. Tully's Sweet Treats. Her name is Anna. And there you go. So she does um, a specialty kind of treats. You'll, you'll see it right now. Uh, she mails out. She does do shipping. Uh, so if you did order or contact her and want to order anything, no matter where you live, she can ship it over to you. Uh, you know, two to three days shipping. I'm sure you can work that out with her. Um, first thing we're going to try, let's see. So she does like freeze dried uh, candies, all different kinds. She's been experimenting for um, it's, what feels like a few months already just to get everything down and get the flavors. Uh, today we're joined by one of my one of my younger my youngest son. He's gonna be uh, helping me evaluate these candies today. Yeah. So first things first is the Jolly. These are Jolly Ranchers, and I guess, yep. As you can see, our packaging is on brand with the color scheme. Um, you know, vacuum sealed, tight. Again, this was shipped, and as you can see, there's no particles, there's no broken broken candies or anything. Uh, let's see. There are two. These are the uh, Jolly Ranchers. I, she's, I have a pretty good variety of stuff I'm going to be showing today. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Rip that off. Okay. First smell, they smell, they smell like Jolly Ranches. Don't they smell good? Yeah, they smell good. Right. All right. You want a red one? Yeah. Red one? Oh. Yeah. There's the purple. They're really big. They're probably like... They blown up to like little meteors. Mm -hmm. Cheers. I put in my mouth. Mm. This is really good. Mm -hmm. You can see the nice airiness to it. Let me see if I can get that to focus. Oh, uh, let's see. There you go. Yeah. Jolly Ranch is good. Mm -hmm. mm. So we did get some water. In between these candies. Mm -hmm. mm. That's really good. So she does different kind of things. So the next one is a Skittles, but with uh, chamoy and uh, tahini. If you're not familiar with chamoy, it's like a almost like a sweet, savory glaze that they use. And the tahini is that spicy, chili, lime salt you can pretty much buy. Um, very, very popular in the Spanish communities. It's been on the rise for the last couple of years. You're seeing chamoy used on everything. You can even at uh, Marshalls or TG Maxx, you go to the candy aisle and you'll find chamoy peach rings, chamoy uh, watermelon slices. So this is again, all homemade uh, blends and flavorings that she uses to make her own candy. Um, she uses brand candy and, and you know, they have a dehydrator and she's doing uh, all kinds of different variations. So this is, they call it her branding. It's called the Spicy Tuttles. As you can see, she does have her email on the package as well. If you want more, Let's see if I can get that focus. There we go. And these are Skittles with the chamoy and tahini. Let's see, might be a little spicy. As well. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna look for a real, real covered one. I'm scared. Yeah, wait, nah, I don't be, I ain't that spicy. As you can see, this one looks. Doesn't smell spicy. Right? No, we've had these kind of candies before. Not this specific, but we've had, we've had the spices and the flavors. Okay, ready? Mm. That's actually good. Oh, it's actually very good. A little salty, very sweet. A little bit of a tang. I'm, I got a cluster here. I don't like how it's not really coming in focus too well. There we go. As you can see how they look. You know, you see the tahini and the chamoy on there. Looks mm. like. I really like these. These are pretty good. All right, moving on to the next ones. She has, have you ever seen the Nerd Clusters? Oh yeah, I ate those before. Yep. They're, they're uh, like a chewy candy, or like a, they're a candy with uh, little Nerd pieces on the outside. Um, they put, you know, I've had them before. If you've seen them, I've had them. They're very good. So she does these 
If I can only get it open. You want to grab me some scissors real quick? My hands now are all sticky with candy, so of course, I'm having a hard time opening them now. Probably should have thought of that beforehand. We had everything pre cut, but I wanted to go go right from the package. There we go. Thank you. Scissors. We're going in. Going wild. So these are the uh, nerd clusters. This is what the package looks like. You got the packaging's on point. Everything's tight. You know, vacuum sealed with the Ziploc top. I just cut mine off. We're gonna eat it anyways. This is one of the nerd clusters. Looks like a nerd cluster. Right? Nice and eerie. Mm-hmm. All right, here you have one for you. Cheers. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. I really like the spicy Tuttles, but I think these might be my favorite. They just dissolve in the tongue. Mm -hmm. You get that sour candy punch you get from the, uh, from the nerd. But it just, it's like, it just dissolves and melts away. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry. These are really good. There's only two left. I don't think they're gonna make it by the end of this video. I'm gonna eat them. Mm -hmm. mm. Next one is we have a. Now, I love Japanese candies. I love import candies. I love all different like, different varieties of candy. So, these are high chews. If anybody's had a nice chew, high chew, mm -hmm. see, yeah, seen them at the grocery store, or other places. So she does the high chews. They look pretty cool. Those are little ice cream blobs. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's they're crack like them. Yeah, they kind of look like marshmallows. Let's crack these open. Let's see. <laughs> right? Be easy. And now it's, you know, having a scissors. Between uh, the last video I did was the sour challenge. Uh, my oldest son and my youngest. And I like them. Yep. I'm going to try these. These candies won't last tonight. Oh, he got it. He got a good catch. Got it. And I'm going to try this one. So again, these are high chews. Smell them. They smell like high chew. Yeah. It smells just like a high chew. I mean, you can see it's like a little dot. It's so like, um, a, like, almost like a ball. Yeah, it's like little dough balls almost, yeah. but they're high chews. Let's try them. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. So that's, we ever had high chews, they're not as sweet, sugary sweet as some candies, especially American candies. Mmm. The flavors just come right through. That's a really good high chew. Mm -hmm. So you can see again what it looks like. It's a little chewy at the end. Yep, a little taffy chewy because uh, high chews are very like gummy or kind of like a taffy-ish, mm -hmm. almost like a cross between a gummy bear and a taffy. If you've ever had the Habro uh, gummy bears, they're like extra chewy, kind of like that. And a taffy, that's what usually high chews are. But this one is, you have that a little bit, in the end, because that's a melt away, but that is really good. Between, I like these, the high chews, so far. Hmm. And the nerd lusters. I think I might like these better. Yeah, those are better. Right, is it really good? Mm -hmm. All right, and, and we'll save the cool, I say coolest for last. It's, it's something that I've never even seen. Done. What? So these are uh, York peppermint patties. Mm -hmm. They're big. Right, they look good, and uh, what they do is again, they're massive size. You can see in the packaging, they're tight. I mean, if you order and she ships them to you, you don't have to worry about product being damaged in the mail or like her packaging is on point. I said it before, and I'm pretty impressed actually. Usually, when I order things, or even if you go to a candy store that's order stuff online, and you buy, uh, you know, these dehydrated products or freeze dried products. They tend to have like dust in the bottom of the package and breaks, just because of basic handling. They're they're very uh, brittle. Delicate. Nothing. Everything's good. Yeah, they're very delicate. You're right. So my better half, she likes uh, peppermint patty, so I'm gonna save her one. Me and you split one. Yeah. I'm gonna show you real quick. A nice airy. Right. <laughs> nice and fluffy. Looks fluffy. You can hear it. Oh, it's hard. Yeah. It no, it's just, it just has like it sounds like very airy. Like, yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna break it in half. Oh break it into threes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that big piece. Okay. And I'm gonna take that piece. It smells peppermint. 
Oh, it does. It smells like pe it's peppermint patty, right? Cheers, Cheers. last one. All right, here we go. That's really good. Mm. What do you think? Mmm. Even has that refreshing mintiness you get from when you bite uh, a peppermint patty. Like, it hasn't lost any of the flavor. The flavor hasn't changed. The texture will change. It's like super airy on the inside. Right, it tastes just like, I mean, it hasn't lost any of that peppermint patty flavor or any of that. Of, it literally, if you close your eyes and just went by on a flavor, you, you know you're eating what you're eating. But the texture is different. I like it. It's pretty cool. You want to like whiskey? Yeah. Mm. This has been hard because every single one I've liked, the new one I've liked better than the previous before. Which one is your favorite? On it, I'm not. I'm not even a big peppermint person. Me neither. And I like it. Yeah, I think I like. I like. Might like these the best. Is that super good? Mm-hmm. Ten. Ten. Mm. Ten out of ten for the peppermint patty. My favorite. Yeah, it was really good. So this was a review. Again, of Tully's Sweet Treats. I will have a um, image. I'll have the links below in the comments if you guys want to order anything. Um, always support local. You heard it right from his own mouth. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. All right, this has been uh, Ron Eats, another snack review. Don't forget to like, sub, and uh, follow on my Facebook page, my Instagram, and of course, my YouTube channel. Until uh, next time, keep on eating. Yeah. <laughs>